Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday. I was going to say that, but it's like I just had such a bummer about my Super Bowl knitting. Oh. I haven't even what? touched it. That's why uh -oh. I brought my machine here. Yeah. I had separated and had done like the handwork to hang it on the machine and my numbers were wrong. Oh no. Because I, what I thought was the front was only half the front and that threw. So I didn't get, oh, no. I didn't realize it until I got around to the whole other side. I. But the yoke is okay, right? Yes, the yoke. Okay. Thank God the yoke is good. So, you know. Shit happens to all of us, even really experienced knitters. Things yeah. happen, and it's on a timeout, but I want to wear it tomorrow, so I'm going to try and get it all together today. I even brought my machine, and I thought I would maybe do some, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do, like, a stopwatch, like, from the hanging yeah. it on the machine till when it comes off to do ribbing. As long as you remember so. to stop the stopwatch when you stop. I forget to do that sometimes. I do it. That's why I like my watch. Oh, yeah. Hey, your watch is working. Not for the reason I want it. Mm. It's a great paperweight watch right now. Samsung oh, needs to get their you-know-what together and fix the problem it has. So it's not just you. Everyone's having yeah, it? Yeah, everyone has it. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Let me see. I left my toy in the office. What toy? Oh, <laughs> I'll get it for you okay. afterwards. All right, so I did a lot of knitting during the Super Bowl, but not on what I was supposed to be knitting on. W were you doing that <laughs> uh -huh, thing? Uh -huh. oh, oh, instead of the other thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, we've got a secret project that but we're working on. But I worked on that one yesterday, and it's here today, so nice, I can thank you. work on it at lunch. Good morning, Elizabeth. So did everyone enjoy the Super Bowl, and what do you like most about it? It is. This is what I have to say. I'm not, um, I don't really care about football and it's from overexposure over the years, but I liked that it was a good game. It was nothing's worse than you have a Super Bowl and someone gets clobbered. So I appreciate that they did well. I watched very little of it. I'm really more excited about the ads now than the actual Super Bowl, but I, I appreciate all the work that they went in to it it was a fantastic game yeah I didn't care for you know my team didn't win but I still like the Chiefs they're they're a great team yeah it was very it was a very exciting game it is a bummer that the um field goal guy oh I know right that because if he had done that then they would have won right he missed the extra point but that's how it goes and he's young there's right. plenty see the thing is I can talk football yeah because I know that much yeah. about it but uh, Marsha said, too oh. nervous to watch the Niners, so I did Netflix and checked the scores online. Good morning. Good I have morning, to watch everyone. It. I honestly didn't watch anything live. I watched, uh, there's things that I like. What did I do? I did nothing. I, everyone left to my house and I enjoyed my quiet. Oh, nice. Yes. I even sent Jack to go to the bar and watch it with his friends because I oh, didn't. Oh, you got to stay home? I got to stay oh, home by fantastic. myself. Which, I have a question. I have a question. For those of you who are older than 56, is one of the perks of menopause, you just want people to leave you alone? Because my girlfriends and I that are all in our 50s, we just, that becomes a higher priority. So I'm wondering if that's something that someone has negated to tell us. Oh, FedEx. <laughs> oh, FedEx. Oh, FedEx. I... My house is pretty quiet, so I don't need everyone to leave. Oh, Elizabeth says yes. Yeah. What was everyone's favorite commercial while we answered the other question? Pam says yes. Good morning, Stacy. Thank you. Oh, Jackie, you missed it on purpose. That's funny. 65. You don't want to be bothered by anyone with the cats. A lot of people are saying yes. Okay. I want people to say, I want you guys to tell people this because <laughs> I think I'm going crazy and people think I'm not nice when I'm like, could you all just leave? Sharon Peterson, 73 and still wants people to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I said, 
Okay, this is, I'll just say this anyway. So, you know, Wednesday's Valentine's Day. I do something with my boyfriend today. And he's like, do you want to get together Wednesday? And in my head, I'm like, no, no, I don't. So I say, could we do Tuesday or <laughs> Wednesday? One of those days. You know, and when you want someone who wants to spend time with you, it's all, it's not the nicest thing. But I'm like, oh my God, what, what night am I going to have to myself? If I don't have Tuesday or Wednesday, if I don't have Wednesday, I have no days. Oh, Melanie's besties just left Sharon. Oh God, Sharon menopause never leaves. <laughs> That's depressing. Well, it's better than the alternative. I'm going to be asking more questions later on because my friends and I are all thinking about hormone replacement therapy. It's like, does that help? So I'm going to be asking more questions about this because I don't have a mother anymore. So I have no older woman to ask the hard questions. You have become it. All you people. All my people out there, we need answers. Yes, Susan please. and I are right there. You get to a time when your time is your time and you realize you do not have to apologize. Jackie, I don't really want to apologize. I've got that down really good. I want to do what I want to do and I don't want to make very many um, concessions. I think by the time we reach this point, we've had the kids, we've had all that activity, all the contact with people and kids and, and yeah. the kids are older now and we're like I'm done just leave me alone uh, yeah. well thanks you guys you make me feel a little bit better uh, Elizabeth hormone replacement therapy is not just for hot flashes because I don't have very many of those it's the emotional roller it's, coaster yes but... and I talked to my doctor and do you know what she said I can give you some antidepressants which pisses me off nothing against antidepressants I can tell you I'm a big proponent of those but that should not be the number one thing how about let's talk about a few other things before it's it, antidepressants it's all about hormones my yes. gal keeps them balanced I'm doing fairly well right now mm. functional medicine is awesome yes homeopathics okay oh I love this thank you guys yep that makes me feel a little bit better yes that's essentially what I'm I'm trying to find some uh more natural estrogen just to see if that helps okay brenda had a good idea um brenda is the one heading up the leanne morgan it is in the collective more brenda i need you to change the date because you said 2025 which is flipping everybody <laughs> out it is 2024 in june we are going to um probably give you guys about two weeks to decide if you want to come you are going to comment and you're committing to your one or two tickets i would bring a girlfriend if you're not local right because it'd be fun we are trying to get a group a big group together so we have a block of seats i hopefully it could be like five 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 instead of one long one because i love that i can see people behind it so uh, Leanne Morgan is uh, the funniest comedian and it is if that wasn't a perfect segue into like menopause and teenagers and your 20 year olds I don't know what it is it not that men couldn't go but is definitely for it's a women's comedian um, Melanie saw it in her in Vegas said it was fantastic but I would love to have you guys join us you are responsible for driving yourself there parking there all we're going to do is we're going to meet up and you guys will have your tickets beforehand because I cannot coordinate all of that. We're all grown, grown ass women. We can figure it out ourselves, but I can tell you there's great parking. Um, oh gosh, <laughs> Kathy Delgado. That's what mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Um, so thank you everyone for, um, Honestly, I'm as transparent as they can be. It drives my kids crazy, but I don't know who else to ask. And I will talk about it to the ladies here. But, you know, Susan doesn't have her mom. I don't have my mom. I mean, yeah, we're the main peeps. So, yeah. Sometimes men shouldn't go where women are. Carolyn, I, just, <laughs> I think men can go, but I just think it's going to be like poking fun at them a little bit. So, I, I'm not bringing my person. I'm going with my girls because I see it as a... We call it chick night out. I wonder if Carolyn means um, in general. In general? Sometimes yeah, men shouldn't go, go where women, women are. are. Yeah. In general. <laughs> Good morning, Deborah. 
All right, we are gonna um, dive into the prizes. So we have our um, grand prize that is we're gonna be giving away. And there are lots of good things in this. This is for the month of April. I was gonna say March. I'm already jumping myself ahead. Uh, we will be giving it away on Friday, March 1st. Do you wanna talk about what's in that basket? We have one skein of Savvy in the color Whetstone, which is, I believe, 130 yards of super bulky. Mm hmm. And it's beautiful. With said gorgeous skein, we can do, we have a hat, headlong, three patterns here. We have River Rock and Bottle Opener. Let me move these, those are not part of the grand prize. So you could do two hats, a cowl and a hat. Lots and lots of options. You can do things besides what we have suggested. Those are just suggestions. Yep. We have our enamel, whoops, sorry for the camera, shawl pin that is magnetic and is incredibly very, very strong. Mm. Everybody needs a sweet treat. We have freeze-dried candy, rainbow bites, which, yes, they are Skittles, but, you know, copyright trademark stuff. We can say it. It just we can't say be it. on yeah. their stuff. We have two of our Harmony Hearts, which are just awesome to play with in your hand, keep them in your pocket. I actually have one sitting on my desk just because I like to look at it. Mm -hmm. We've got our beautiful little multi-strand necklace here with a little crystal inset and matching earrings. Uh -oh. Oh, you leaned on the button down below, or not. Our computer shut off for a second. We also have our cashmere blend scarf with the real fur palms on there. It's long enough you can double or even triple wrap it and just get these with a little cool blow dryer. They're a little squished from shipping. I think that's everything that's in there. How you get entered. Every purchase you make gets you one entry per purchase. It is cumulative so the more purchases you make the more entries you get and it counts for the entire month of February. I was laughing because the way that Tonya said every purchase you make, I'm thinking there's song, every move you oh, make. Oh yes, <laughs> that's funny. And that's <laughs> what I was thinking, right as you said it, that cracked me up. Um, all right, next we are gonna talk about our daily prize. So daily, we wanna always share the love with everyone who's watching with us and we have amazing prizes this is a full skein of alexandra dark side of the moon um in midnight aegean sleep aegean sea this is about a 35 to 40 dollar value we've included it with a pattern of twist and turns bringing the price up to about a 45 dollar daily prize pam is home it's very exciting oh pam i think you just friended me i think pam did you friend me on Instagram, but you have a different name? I do deep dived into the hundred requests. Oh my goodness. Yes, if I know you, I said yes. I've seen this pattern done in this yarn in a, the white with the rainbow. It's so pretty. So pretty. This is one of our patterns, twists and turns. It's done with one skein, one or two skeins of fingering weight. The sample we did was one skein. I think it's beautiful because I designed it but it has these longer elongated cables and then in between there is a purl stitch and then kind of like a barber pole where you have a column of two knits and then a twist a twist very pretty you knit it up on a size five needle this is knitting that you would take with you because it's a lot of knitting in a small amount of space so if you're traveling this would be a great project I absolutely love the um, Her Dine Dark Side of the Mood. She's one of the first people that ever did more of an assigned pooling look to it. Um, hers has a little bit of a rainbow and it knits up into about a two inch piece of it. Um, but really nice to do as a gift. Nope, Pam, it wasn't you then. I love this, was it me? Pam, Pam in England, no, you're already my friend. So many people want to be my friend, and then I'm like, oh, it's a lot of work. I'm, I'm, I'm really boring on um, social media on my own. I'm just going to say that. 
All right. I love Alexandra's yarn. You guys know that I love Alexandra. Just such a great woman. I'm excited about her move to Colorado, uh, even though it means less trunk shows for us. But I think it's amazing that she gifted, um, she gives us yarn to give away because she's all about paying it forward to other people. So I love that. Uh, how you get entered into this daily prize? Very simple. It's all about engagement. Every time you react to the video, um, you're going to give us a little emoji hit. Uh, so if you love what you see, do the hearts, do the love. Um, if you're wowed by something, the color, the pattern, the texture, you're going to get one entry for every one of those. Every comment that you make, you are going to get um, five entries for every comment. So we'll say... That's gonna give you five entries. And then if you hit the forward area arrow and you're gonna share now, share to your stories, share to your favorite group, share to your friends, you just have to pop back in and write the word shared to my. That's how we find those comments. There you go. That's gonna give you 11 entries for that. So based off of Saturdays, See who's gonna be the lucky winner, winner, chicken dinner of this prize. Jerry Milo, Ooh. congratulations. All right, Jerry, we know you're local, so next time you come see us at the boutique, let us know you have a prize. We will get it from the cabinet for you. If you can't make it in person, the next time you place an order, let us know in the notes you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Nancy, you're going to, oh, Charlotte, to see your best friend, that's nice. I think she said her flight got canceled. Yeah, uh, delayed, canceled. Yeah, I saw that go by. Never route. Oh, jeez. Are you telling me there's more boxes? Shippers. More boxes. From FedEx. Yay. Okay. You're our FedEx person. So we still have some Knit How books. These are fantastic. Lots of good uh, techniques in there and how to's. How are you going? Oh, Nancy, you're leaving at six. That sounds a long ways away from now, time-wise. Or Tuesday, yeah. Oh, lots of boxes. <laughs> we still have some super cute little stitch stoppers here. Thank you. Have oh, a good day. Bye-bye. That outside air feels so good. It does? Yes. You I'm have so fun. hot right I now. Don't at all. <laughs> Very rarely. My son drove me to work today and I got out here and he's like, oh, when I opened the door, he's like, you let all the warm air out. I'm like, it's not cold. He goes, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not. I have my, my jacket with me, but I don't need it. All right. Let me do this. I did not get the other thing done. Um, Nancy, you just packed your, my lips stitch marker. Nice. I'm going to put this here while I finish my job. I'm going right. to let you talk about the subscription box. Uh, this is for our not so politically correct stitch stopper subscription. That's a mouthful. It is. Uh, so you can sign up for this and it will not take your credit card until we actually start the shipping, which what you said was mid-March, I think. Mid-March is when yeah. we're actually starting the first one. So that's exciting. This is just a sample. We are not it's going to be a surprise what you get in each set. And I believe you get two sets once a month. Is that right? Two sets once a month. And these things are great because you can put them on a zero up to a 15 at least. So they have a little hole like that on each side. It is currently on an 11. And I am sure you could get it on a 17. Easily. I think you easy, can get easy. up to a 17. But I, what I we like think. about these is they're silicone. So they're extra grippy. This, I would have to, yeah, I mean, I'm working hard to pull it off and I like that the hole doesn't stretch to get bigger. Nice. Um, these are just tongue in cheek, absolutely funny. Um, we do have a limited amount of spaces for them. The actual subscription is going to start mid-March. And so in the middle of the month, we're going to be shipping to everyone. Um, the postage, we only did $2. We literally weighed them and figured it out like that. So $2 to ship it. Everyone's getting shipped. But they're, what I like is not only can they be for you, you can give one of the sets away to your favorite person. It is 
two designs, one set of each per month. So not two of one design. You're getting two totally different designs each month. Um, but I think it's really fun. Very, very fun. So we're excited to do that. Um, let me see. Oh, that's the wrong one. I wanted to do the link for that to get you guys started. Oh gosh, we have not really advertised it yet because I wanted to give everyone who watches our videos on a frequent basis, give you the opportunity to sign up for it before they are sold out, which is tends to happen in a lot of our things. Um, speaking of subscription boxes, the, the yarn one's getting even closer. We have all the components. We are waiting on packaging, which has been a real challenge. So we're happy with the packaging that's coming, but it is taking longer than I anticipated. Um, but we're excited about that. All right, we are going to jump in and showcase some of the fun things we're going to be talking about today, starting with one of my favorite bags to knit with. This is the Deja Vu. What I like about them, they're clear. They're squarish. It's a rectangle, like a cube. So they fit really well in your packaging if you're packing with them and they compress really well. If you are a quilter, you will notice the uh, wedding ring pattern on this, but it allows you to see what project is being made. These are made in the United States, and for some reason, this one right here, I have a hard time seeing it, and I just saw it. This is the llama. Do you see them? Let me make it smaller, because I couldn't see the llama. Oh, right there, yeah. Yes, I couldn't see it, but now I'm like, Oh, there's llamas. This is the Festive Llama. This company pays livable wages. It is on the East Coast, I think in the Carolinas. Um, I have been doing a little bit of sewing and boy, it's a lot more work than it looks like. Uh, one of the things that I liked, number one, using this clear vinyl, much more difficult to sew on. She, they do an amazing job on their zippers. Um, the insides of these are all finished, so they're not going to come out. So someone does all the bias on them, which that's all. I made something for my daughter for Valentine's Day, and I hadn't sewed in like a couple of years. It was very fun to get it out. But we have two different designs that came in this time. Festive Llamas, which is adorable. It can hold the start of a sweater. It can hold a um, one of the big barrel balls from Noro. It easily stretches. It'll hold four skeins of wound up fingering weight yarn. See? I have one in my bag right now, actually. You do? I, I do. love that. Yeah. And then this one is the Deja Vu um, Blue Yarn in Mittens. I love fabric that actually has knitting. And here's the thing. It's not a perfect matchup, but they literally tried to match up both sides of the bag. So this is kind of coming over, right? But there's skeins of yarn, knitting needles, balls of yarn, a knitted hat, yellow hat, green hat, red mittens. I like that the majority of it is clear, but that they even lined the inside. Every part of this is the highest quality that you can get. A lot of people would not line the inside because it doesn't matter, but here's the thing, it matters. It does. The thing I made for my daughter, I not only lined it, I used the binding. I made my own binding and I bound off the inside and I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll do that again. It's a lot of work. It is, but it was really fun. I even quilted the fabric myself. Nice. The attention to detail in these bags is amazing. Amazing. Um, I just think it's really nice quality and it's nice to keep your stuff a little more organized by seeing them that makes a big difference for me how many of you have um a date one of the deja vu or the bigger bags because they did have a bigger bag for a while i probably have at least three of them I have, I have both of them i like the clear bag it's um it speaks to me well hello rhonda nice, nice. to see you um, so that is, these are the two new bags that came into the boutique. Uh, nice to treat yourself, to organize your stash. If you have UFOs, you put your yarn in here, zip it up, and then you can put it on the shelf this way, 
or this way or this way and then you can see exactly what is in it all right some folks do have both mm-hmm yep uh, do you have a favorite print, Cindy? Cindy, is, you're a bag person like I am, so maybe cat stuff, I would say Cindy does. Nancy likes that they are clear. Mm -hmm. My favorite one is the one that had the sheep on it, the white that. background, I think. Yeah. I never got that one, but it was so cute. I like the Knit Saints one. Oh, yeah, that was cute. Yeah. All right, so I, I'm going to say you can't have enough socks. Never. And... I was just at the trade show. These are all brand new for the lineup. I just think they're so cute. It's, you know, never too early to start on Easter basket things for your kids. A little I love you gift, a little souvenir. Um, I just want to make sure I have the right ones. Okay, so number one that I brought in is some, I only did a couple of them, compression socks for people who are on their feet. I brought these in because my daughter had asked me to do some other ones and she is a big calf girl. So these are the largest and they have eight to 15 compression. So mild compression. If you are someone who flies, you should be wearing compression socks because then your feet don't um, swell up and they're not tight. One of the reasons why I stopped wearing compression socks is they were too tight on the back of my knee, mm -hmm. but these are perfect. I thought the donuts were fun, so you could have a little bit of fun. They are bamboo rayon blend with mild compression. Again, this is the um, Momoa set, well fit under $18, which is an amazing price for compression socks. If your legs hurt, it helps. I've worn them to bed. Like when I've had, I've had um, plantar fasciitis. And so I would wear compression socks or those funky socks that keep your toe from flexing. But I have to use them when I travel because my feet swell up and then I can't wear my shoes. I have literally had to walk out on a flight barefoot because I couldn't get my feet oh, no. back in, back in the shoes. It was a pair of Uggs. I was like, wow. holy crap. All right, strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Oh, so so hot right now. This is um, size nine to 11. It's rayon made from bamboo. Strawberries are probably the hottest fruit. These are under $8. I think even cute for you. If you guys seen, there's some really cute clear Uggs that, ha that you could put see-through. So you can, Uggs? yes. I had a clear pair of Converse for a while. Yeah. Uh, they do make your feet a little bit sweaty, but um, they have holes in the new ones, which are a little bit easier. Okay, I, I've never played this, <laughs> but this is the hottest thing I've heard in senior living areas, pickleball. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's a mixture of tennis and ping pong, but I don't really get it. But how cute is that? Pickleball. Anyone who's a pickleball uh, connoisseur, ooh, it looks like it's a wiffle ball. Huh. Somebody enlighten us. Crystal Romeo, what is the name of your nail person? Because I told my daughter-in-law about her and I still wanna do that. All right, moving on. Cute. I mean, puppies on the beach. This, there's some, I mean this one, there's Karen. She's got, I mean, it's not that coloring, but she's got, right. she has a pug. That could be, Patty Palmer brought hers in. My gosh, those are big dogs they on are. short <laughs> legs. Patty Palmer raises bassets, bassets, and I saw them in real life for the first time. Oh my gosh, so cute. Thank you. Okay, for those of you who do not live in California, but want a little bit of our sunshine, here you go. As you know, we're known for the Golden Great Bridge, uh, Napa Valley, we have Walk of the Stars, the California Bear. I don't know what this yellow thing is. What is this? Salads? Tacos. I was like- Really? Yeah, look at, you can see it there. How funny. Tacos, I think these are so cute. Uh, Deb Massa, you need to get these for your family before they come out. That'd be a nice yeah. little I love you gift. And these are the hottest thing at the trade show, and I think they're so cute. These are anklets that are 
almost see-through. They're more like a trouser sock. Uh, they have a little bit of ruffle at the top. So cute. And little anklets. I love um, the really thin socks with my boots. Yeah. So that they're slippery and my feet slip around a little bit. Deborah says the quartz a little bit smaller. Is it a wiffle ball? We're going back to pickleball. Yeah. Is it a wiffle ball? And are you running around? Because I don't know how old people are running around. Like, that's how I think through my head. What do they just stand there and it goes as far as they want? We can ask one of the gals in my class today. She does it a lot. Nice. And last but not least, in the brand new Mamwa socks, we have Take a Hike, which we're just getting to the time. It was a false spring the last couple days here in California. We were in the 60s high 60s on Sunday. It was very lovely. Okay, so it is with a wiffle ball. Deb's 68. Deb, you're oh. a very young 68. Not running strategic placement. Interesting. Interesting. Two courts per tennis court. Hmm. And how do you not hit people? Um, hmm. Stay in your lane. <laughs> I don't right? know. All right, so that is the memoir new brand new sock collections we have black strawberries we have pickleball we have dog beach california uh take a hike all you guys need those for your flights to travel little compression socks and these adorable little strawberry eyelets and let me post the link because i failed to do that um boop let me see this one you know, for me being the Link Ninja, I tend to forget to do that until the end of the video. And I'm like, oh no, I forgot. It's, it is, it uh, is. there's no easy way to do it. I think that's what it yeah. is. Let's get it going. I'll pin those for a second. We do have many other sock selections and other strawberries as well. And hold on, I want to show you. I forgot about these because I think they're so dang. She's running to get them. Yep, I ran, ran, ran over. Here's another pair of the sheer ones. Oh, oh yeah, I have some of those. They're comfortable, they though. Are. You don't think they'd be comfortable because they're thin, but they're definitely comfortable. Very trendy little anklet. I think I tried to wear my shoes with no socks one day, and I got here, and I'm like, oh, my God, I need socks. Yeah. <laughs> so I got some of those. They are pretty awesome. I think they're pretty darn good. Okay, I got the cutest little Black Mary Janes for my upcoming trip, and I'm like, oh, those would be fun. Okay, next in the lineup, you guys know, I'm just curious, who knows? What, and, and Susan can't say it, what's my number one fiber? It's very easy. <laughs> I talk about it all the time. Yeah. If I could knit out of any fiber, if I could only choose one, what would it be? Mm, for sure. Mm. I saved money by making my own coffee. It's not as good, but it's still delicious. Yeah. That's right. Cashmere, cashmere, cashmere. I think everyone should knit with yarn with a little bit of cashmere. Like 10% makes a huge difference. Jilda is the rep for um, Jade Sapphire, and it is a delicious 100% Mongolian cashmere. We have one of their lines, Aw. A A A H, so incredibly soft. We have the coloring box kits that have done really well, and this is a brand new luxury uh, skein of hand spun cashmere. I did buy enough for a sweater because that's how I roll. It's ridiculous, and it's just sitting there mocking me, <laughs> like. And I've even cast on, but I'm like, what to make out of it? Um, this is Jade Sapphire's brand new Mongolian cashmere hand spun. I love that it's a hand spun. So you're getting texture, highs and lows with it. Um, I love the dyeing. This is all dyed in New York. It is crazy, crazy soft. And what I did is I pulled patterns that only would take one skein because I really want all of you to experience what you could do with one skein of cashmere. This is approximately 100 to 130 yards because it is um, thick, thin, 
I just think it's absolutely beautiful. This is Turn Red. It does, I don't remember if we said that it's worsted weight, but I'm leaning towards chunky because on a US eight to 10, it knits up at four to four and a half mm. stitches. So I have pulled mostly chunky patterns because number one, it's gonna go further. You can do more with one of those than the others. So let me drop the link. We do have a limited quantity of this. I just want to do Michelin out of it. Oh, that would be gorgeous. Just a one skein cowl, yeah. something easy, which I think would be super fun. So let me find um, some of the patterns. Oh, I thought this was cute. This is, look at Jade Sapphire Hand Spun Mongolian. One skein. Nice. You can make little slippers. Cute, cute, cute. You can see that it's hand spun because there's thick and thin sections of it. My whole thinking is you, you know, you buy yourself a skein just to sample it out, make something specifically for you. Not for anyone else, because they're not gonna appreciate it unless it's another knitter or crocheter. I thought this was a great one. This is, someone did a Sophie scarf. Nice. Just a little one skein for p those of you that are, uh, live in an area where it's cold and you just need a little something around your neck. You are going to wind your skein or we will wind it for you. And then you weigh it in grams. Hopefully you all have a food scale. And then you just increase till you've used just about half of it and decrease and you use every single bit of it. This turn red is like a, it's interesting. There's blue red tones and then there's orange red. So it's a perfect blend of blue red and Chinese red all in one skein. This is color number 215D, turn red. I don't know why it says turn red. I always wanna know where did the colors come from. Oh, this is a two skein project. This is, um, she called it, I love my cashmere scarf, but it is actually dragon scale scarf. Now they did it on mm. a four. No, I would just pop it up to like an eight or a nine and maybe cut out some of the repeats. You really only need three and then the halves. Yeah. Ooh, cute. Yep. Yeah. This is two different colors. So they've made one hat this, and then with the leftovers, they did a separate one. To make it last more, don't do the rolled brim, the brim, fold up brim, you don't need it. This is Slouch by Helen Bingham. I would not do, if I'm making it out of cashmere, I am just gonna cast on, do the ribbing, knit, and then do my decreases as I need to. I thought this was pretty. This is Camel and Polworth. Again, this is also made out of um, the hand spun. Don't do the rolled brim. That's gonna get you further. Look at the detail oh, look at the on decrease. the decreases. That's pretty. It's like it's shuffling. Pretty, pretty. How many of you have used uh, cashmere before and what's your thoughts on it? I'll show you another color while we're uh, going about it. Look at this one. So oh, pretty. This is a little uh, natique, what mm -hmm. I would call natique because there's green and just the lightest hue of pinks. It's called Ring Around the Rosie. I just think it's beautiful. There's like yellow, there's spring green. There is just the sweetest posy pink. And the hand spun, you're really seeing it as it comes to it. Deb says she loves working with it. Nice, soft, squishy. Yep, cashmere hats are, this is what I think. It's a cashmere hat, cashmere fingerless mm -hmm. gloves. Very small cashmere, cashmere neck. Um, I love 100% cashmere sweaters, but I'm just saying to dip your toe in it, you absolutely want to do something where it's against your forehead, your neck, your hands. Okay, I have knit this before. I love this. This is two different colors. This is the Opus, I don't even. Spicatum? Sure. It's got to mean something. Um, 
I feel like it should say spit. <laughs> But I, mine is in black and white. It's two colors, a little bit of ribbing, and then just gorgeous color work, which would make it really warm. And look at that detail on the hat. You get a little star. Nice. Hold on, I have to tap this for Susan. That's a free pattern. Ooh, here's mm. some little hand warmers. One, so take your mm. skein, divide it in half, and then there you go. Then you'll have a matching set. This is easy, fast, fun. Oh, so far these are feeling really good. First time cashmere user here. Ugh. I love that. The cozy wrist warmers. Pretty texture. I feel texture. like we've done these before. I don't know. I do like a wrist warmer. Um, what is it? Um, auto bond is one of ours. Mm, you could yeah. use this for auto bond, but on a smaller needle. Uh, here's the Graham hat. I have done Graham so many times. You just don't make it as slouchy. You use the yarn that you have, right? Don't break into two skeins. I thought this was pretty. Fifth Avenue scarf. Nice that picture. is a larger version of it, but you could buy multiple skeins. Here's a little one skein wonder. The slanted shell. Cute. This is just using the remnants, but really you could just do it all out of cashmere, one skein. And I love that they offset the knits and pearls. How cute is that? Fun, fun, fun. Easy knit. Mm -hmm. That's cute. The Yaya -ya hat. This is a one skein, size eight and nine needle. Would be beautiful in this yarn. Two way beanie. Now see, I did pull this as like a thicker yarn because I really do think it'll work. I like the detail of this. I like that the ribbing comes up and separates and then comes back together. That's fun, great texture on that. Again, folded brim, well, you'd need two skeins. Non-folded brim, you can get away with one. And I think it's just as attractive. That looks like it's out of Rasta. I think she gives you multiple. I love patterns oh, yeah. like this. Yeah, so Chunky or Rasta, great. Chunky Monkey Beanie, this is a free pattern. We've got the Double Basket Weave Beanie. Ooh, that's fun. That's pretty. We had a pattern like this. It got lost in the abyss uh -oh. at a certain point. I don't remember, probably store one. Yeah, I think so. I would teach it as my second project for Learn to Knitters. Mm. Okay, I think these are cute. Cozy toesies. And again, I wouldn't do folded. I would just do ribbing. Okay, these are so <laughs> cute. Heckin' Quick. I like this detail. I do like a little slipper. I don't know about you guys. Um. I have a story. I, this is where my mind goes. Slippers, slippery. Really? I was febrezing my downstairs of dog and then walked across it and you're like, how is that Ouch. so slippery? But it is. But it doesn't smell like dog, which brings me joy. All right. <laughs> our last color that we have in, I think it's perfect for winter. This is if you are a green person and, you know, um, St. Patty's Day is coming up soon. This is all shades of green, blue, blue, green, yellow, green. I think they've done such a nice job. There's even a little bit of robin egg in there. We've got some spring green, some forest green, a little bit of olive. Let me just put it together. Look at that. So pretty. One skein wonders. That's where it's at when it comes to this. If you, when you're placing your order and you'd like us to wind it for you in the notes, right? Please wind me. We would love to do that for you. Okay, here's another one for the young peeps. And I think this is nice when you're, where it's cold. This is an ear warmer. It's just a circular, um, basically you're knitting this way and you join it. So you can do like a three needle join if you do a provisional cast on. I do love the braided 
look. I just think so cute. So many people have made it too. Two more. Oh, I like that one. I cord cowl. This would take about two skeins to do it. But you could do the I-cord. Here's what I would do. You get one skein of cashmere and then something that coordinates to do maybe the ribbing and the I-cord. And then on the back side of this. So you just kind of hide that you've got one of them. And I have one last pattern and I just love the name of it. Babouche. <laughs> Look how cute those are. I think Turkey. And that's one of the places that I want to go. Mm. So here we are. Jade Sapphire. Brand new hand spun Mongolian cashmere. Paying livable wages where it is. And then it is dyed in, um, I'm going to say it's New York, Upper New York. Um, beautiful. We've got Turn Red, Ring Around the Rosies. And this one is called Palazzo. So lots of goodies today. And uh, as you can see, we got a lot of boxes. Four more boxes showed up. So I know what we're doing today. I know. But that's okay. Uh, Kristen did a lot of work she yesterday. Did. So yeah. shout out Kristen Yates coming in on uh, the store's day off to get us on track. So we're going to talk about what we are wearing. I am loving this one. I took off the tag. What is it, Susan? Sun shower? This is sun shower. I think. Yeah. I don't know where, what I did with it, but it's somewhere around here. Oh, hold on. Maybe star shower, sun shower. I'm going to say star shower, maybe sun shower. This is link. using a seven series of art yarns with a partial skein of another color just to really spread it out. We do have an on-demand class for it. I love, you guys know, yarn overs really break up any pulling that you can have. I love this little, you start to get this zigzag look, but that's actually created by this. And I think it's backwards. See, you couldn't even see. Could you see it? No. Yeah, I can tell you why. Because oh, the center yes. double decrease. This is the correct side of it. Absolutely beautiful. I love shawlettes. Um, you guys can see I always wear it as a cowboy cowl. I just think it adds a little bit of zing without um, dating yourself like you're, you know, a grandma. I know I'm a grandma. An old-fashioned, out-of-date old, grandma. That's right. <laughs> because you see everyone's wearing them like that. I'm not saying you can't wear them like this, but this would be like, ooh, my shoulders got cold, right? It's actually really pretty that way. It is. I do wear mine that way a lot. I, yes. And I'm not a grandma, so. Yeah, it's super cute. Cute. It's cute like this. And I like just the look that you're getting. All right, I'm gonna turn around, show you what Susan's wearing. Um, but I'm really excited. We have we have lots of packing to do for all the semi-annual clearance sale stuff that we sold over the weekend. See, I do wear mine this way. You do? I well, do, it's so pretty with that. Yeah, I, the way I have it wrapped around, it, it's too small for the scarf cuff, so I tuck the tail back around, so. Would you turn that around so people can see what, what you're talking about? Oh. How about undo it and show them? This is how Susan does it when the scarf cuff is a little bit too um, big like... for the work. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Okay. We're gonna give you a demo. So we're gonna put the scarf cuff on, just a little snap, and it's very, very way too loose. So I'm gonna take my long tail, turn it around here, and put it through the cuff and then just snug it up so that it doesn't fall off. It takes a bit of manipulation to get it. Not to be bulky, but you could see yeah. before it didn't have that like, bulky which... look at all. But isn't that beautiful? I know. I, it, it takes got a fair all... amount of manipulation. Yeah, you just kind of wiggle it down, wiggle it down. Yeah, I can fix it better later, but... But what a great way to it. do it. But look how yeah. cute this is. What was the pattern again? Short rose, R-O-S-E. 
and that is it could be a seven series but it's, it was could. originally mini skeins yeah. is it heavier than it does not look fingering it it's looks fingering. like it's oh interesting yeah. it looks almost dk let me show you guys up close I'm sorry, I, lo I love holding our new camera like this. So pretty. We do have the scarf cuffs in stock. Love the pink one. And we have a gorgeous aqua one also. Yep, and purple. And purple for all the purple people. And red. Yep, lots of good colors. All right, we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna give you guys a adieu. I will be live at 3 o'clock today with Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. I'm sure I am going to be knitting on my Valentine sweater that I said I'd wear tomorrow. I even brought my knitting machine to make it easy. But I will see everyone soon. Have an amazing day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.